You're staring at your lunch, trying to decide if you're actually hungry or just bored. What if I told you that your body is carrying enough stored fuel right now to keep you alive for months without eating? Today, I'll explain extended fasting and human survival in simple terms. By the end, you'll understand exactly how your body transforms fat into fuel and why some people can survive months without a single meal. Most people think missing breakfast is torture. Your stomach growls, your brain screams for carbs. You feel like you're dying after 12 hours. But here's what you need to understand. That feeling isn't starvation. It's not even close. That's just your body switching fuel sources, like a hybrid car moving from electric battery to gasoline. The real survival engine hasn't even turned on yet. And when it does, your body can run far longer than you ever imagined. Let's break down what actually happens when you stop eating. For the first 24 hours, your body burns through glycogen. That's stored sugar sitting in your liver and muscles, ready for quick energy. Think of it like the cash in your wallet. Easy to access, but there's not much of it. You've got maybe 2,000 calories of glycogen total. That's enough for one day. Maybe two if you're sitting still. Once that's gone, your wallet's empty. Time to hit the bank account. That bank account is your fat. And here's where the numbers get wild. Every single pound of body fat stores about 3,500 calories. Not a little snack's worth. 3,500 calories. That's roughly two full days of energy per pound. Now imagine you're a 200-pound person with 25% body fat. That's 50 pounds of pure stored energy sitting on your frame right now. 50 pounds times 3,500 calories equals 175,000 calories. That's enough fuel to keep your body running for 40 to 50 days without eating a single thing. But here's where your biology becomes fascinating. Your body doesn't just sit there burning fat randomly. It gets strategic. Within 72 hours of fasting, your body enters ketosis. Your liver starts breaking down fat into molecules called ketones, and those ketones become brain fuel. Your brain, which normally runs entirely on sugar, suddenly switches to fat-based energy, and it works beautifully. People report mental clarity, focus, and steady energy during ketosis. No sugar crashes, no afternoon slumps. Just smooth, consistent power drawn from your own storage. This isn't your body failing, it's your body revealing what it was designed to do all along. Now check this out. Your hormones completely rewire themselves during extended fasting. Insulin, the hormone that stores fat, drops to almost nothing. That's the signal your body needs to unlock fat cells and start burning. Growth hormone shoots up by as much as five times normal levels. Why? Because growth hormone protects your muscle mass. Your body doesn't want to burn muscle for fuel when it's got all that fat sitting around. And adrenaline increases too, keeping your energy and alertness high. This isn't your body shutting down. This is your body switching into survival mode. And survival mode is shockingly efficient. You're not weakening, you're optimizing. Let's scale this up. Imagine a 350-pound person with 40% body fat. That's 140 pounds of fat. Multiply that by 3,500 calories, and you get 490,000 stored calories. That's enough energy for 150 days or more. Five months, half a year, just living off stored fat. This isn't theory, this actually happened. The longest medically supervised fast ever recorded lasted 382 days. A man named Angus Barbieri started at 456 pounds. He was monitored by doctors the entire time. They gave him vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes, but zero food. He drank water, tea, and coffee. That's it. His body burned through his fat reserves day after day, and he lost 275 pounds. When it was over, he weighed 180 pounds and felt fine. No major health problems, no permanent damage. His body had done exactly what it was designed to do, survive on stored energy until food became available again. This real-world case proves that human fat storage isn't just biological backup. It's a complete life support system. Here's what you need to understand. Angus didn't starve for 382 days. Starvation only begins when your fat is gone. Before that, you're fasting. There's a massive difference. Fasting means your body is burning its own reserves in a controlled way. Starvation means your body has run out of reserves and starts breaking down vital organs and muscle to stay alive. That's the dangerous part. That's when people die. But if you've got fat, you've got time. This matters to you because most of what you've been told about skipping meals is wrong. You've heard that missing breakfast ruins your metabolism. That fasting puts your body into starvation mode. 
that you need to eat every few hours to keep your energy up. None of that is true. Your metabolism doesn't slow down during short-term fasting. In fact, studies show it slightly increases during the first few days because of that adrenaline boost. Your body is trying to keep you alert and active so you can go find food. It's not giving up, it's gearing up. But wait, there's something even more powerful happening beneath the surface. During extended fasting, your body activates a process called autophagy. That's your cells eating their own damaged parts and recycling them. Think of it like spring cleaning at the cellular level. Old proteins get broken down, damaged mitochondria get cleared out. Your body literally repairs itself from the inside. Studies suggest autophagy may reduce inflammation, improve longevity, and even lower cancer risk. This isn't just survival. This is maintenance and upgrade work your body can only do when it's not busy digesting food. You're not just losing weight. You're rebuilding from within. Insulin sensitivity improves dramatically during fasting. Your cells become better at responding to insulin, which means better blood sugar control long after the fast ends. People with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes often see their numbers improve. Some reverse their condition entirely. Your body gets a metabolic reset, like rebooting a computer that's been running slow for years. Now, here's the part people get wrong. They think fasting for days means you'll lose all your muscle and come out weak. But remember that growth hormone surge? That's your body protecting muscle. Studies on people fasting for multiple days show they maintain strength and lean mass surprisingly well, especially if they stay hydrated and keep electrolytes balanced. You're not wasting away. You're running on reserves while your body carefully preserves what it needs. Of course, none of this means extended fasting is safe for everyone. If you're underweight, pregnant, diabetic on medication, or dealing with certain health conditions, fasting can be dangerous. Electrolyte imbalances can cause heart problems. Refeeding after a long fast has to be done carefully or it can shock your system. Angus Barbieri had doctors watching him every single day. He wasn't winging it at home. Supervision matters. But the point isn't that everyone should fast for months. The point is understanding what your body is actually capable of. You're not fragile. You're not going to collapse if you skip a meal. Your body has systems built over millions of years of evolution designed to keep you alive during food scarcity. Those systems still work. They're just sitting there waiting, buried under three meals a day plus snacks. So to recap, your body stores 3,500 calories per pound of fat. A 200-pound person with 50 pounds of fat has 175,000 calories stored enough for 40 to 50 days. A 350-pound person with 140 pounds of fat has 490,000 calories, enough for 150 days or more. The longest supervised fast lasted 382 days. During fasting, insulin drops, growth hormone rises, and your body enters ketosis, burning fat while protecting muscle. Autophagy kicks in, repairing cells and improving metabolic health. You don't starve until your fat is gone. Everything before that is just your body doing what it was built to do. So here's the real question. If evolution gave us this incredible survival system, why does modern advice treat skipping one meal like a medical emergency?